Hey, Sneaky Linux back again, and today we got Archbang 2010, yes, the full proper release. Remember about two months ago I'd done, I think it was the Alpha or the Beta, and it was really nice, a few little hiccups, but on the whole it was really good. Well, now it's been released, well, it was released last week actually, I just haven't had time to get around to do it, to be honest with you. All there, all looks nice, it's all nice and smooth. I've already updated it, it was took about, ooh, ten minutes, lovely, no bloody problem. I'll go through it with you a bit and have a bit of another look. As you can see, Thunar's there, G-Party's there, Gimpy's there. GQ, whatever that is, that's the way that looks at your pictures, really. And take a screenshot on here. So, should we take a screenshot? Yes, we're going to take a screenshot. That should have done it. There we go. Look at that. Super bleeding duper. Nice, all works. The colours are really, really nice, I must say. And I do like the desktop environment. They've really done a good job. And if you want to try Arch, this is a really good way to do it if you don't want to do the full one. Anyway, under internet, got plenty there. We'll open up Minitube. So, I've had a, bit, a few problems with that recently. So we'll see if it works in Arch. Bang. Ooh, looks okay, but there's a new version, but I won't do that just yet. I'm just going to get a quick look for you and see where we go. So I'll put me in. No, sneaky Linux. I ain't found me yet. So I'll put the Linux in. There we go. Let's have a look. And there's all my vids and whatever, and I can watch my own vids and go here, I'm brilliant and all that. But yeah, that works really, really nice. I like it. So what else we got down there under internet? Chromium as your browser. I like even better. Radio Tray Pigeon, I'll come back to Radio Tray in a minute. SM Player for your SM Player and stuff, Volume. XF Burn for Burning. Abbey Word and Genie Merc as your standard. You don't really need anything else, do you really think about it? Files. And your menu. All your stuff down there, graphics are there. A lot of this is repeated, by the way, in other parts of the menu. So I'll open up the picture viewer. And of course it opens the one I've just done. So that's really nice. All works pretty quick as well. This is quite an old system. I'm using it on as well. Yeah, look at that. that. Isn't that good? I really like the quality of that picture. Considering I'm using XVID cap here, and you know what I'm saying it's really, really nice. So anyway, under preferences, you can do your conky stuff. You can uh, choose your uh, wallpaper. Oh yeah, you can configure your menus and GUIs and everything you can think of. It's really easy to use. I'm not going to go into it too much. Really short video. I'm just showing you that it's been released and it's nice and stable, which is what we really want, isn't it? We don't want an unstable distro. Now over here on the right hand side we have our super keys or super. Remember the super key? That's the one with the Windows logo on your keyboard that nobody ever uses. So it's super and W brings up your browser. So that Chromium, go straight to Google UK because I'm in that UK. So I'll chuck in Archbang. It comes up. Lovely. I'll go straight to the Archbang page just to show it all works and I'm not lying to you. Buff official one. There we go. Tells you all about it. Nice, nice, nice. 64 and 32 bit. If you're having trouble with your drivers and your screens, it gives you the fix here as well. So don't worry about it. It's all, it can be done. Don't worry one little bit. But I find it's really, really nice to use. So yeah, that's Chromium out of the way anyway. Where else did we see that? Oh yeah, what was I going to do? Go down a bit. Hang on. Multimedia. No, office. No, it wasn't in there either. Where's it gone? I've lost it. Oh my god. No, it was. There it is. Radio Train. Now, do you remember a long while ago I'd done one on Radio Train? We came about three, four, maybe five months. I can't remember now. Now, Radio Train is just a little tiny program that you can play radio stations in the background. You don't have to have it full in your face. I mean, a lot of them you have a big screen, you've got loads to choose from. Well, Radio Tray just has a few little programs, you know, a few little stations, and just runs in the tray like so. Oh, that's really, really nice. Bit of Tinty Strider and Teo Cruz. It's all right. I don't mind that track, it's all right. But as you can see, it'll just keep running until you turn it off. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn him off. All done. Now, on the whole, I really, really like this, and if you want to get into Arch, this is the way to go, in my opinion. Five out of five. Sneaky Linux out.